Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VII. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 27th of June, 1497, lawyer and Member of Parliament Thomas Flamanck and blacksmith Michael Joseph, known as Michael Anne Goff, two of the chief commanders of the Cornish rebels were hanged, drawn and quartered at Tyburn in London. As I explained in my video on the Cornish Rebellion, which I'll give you a link to in the video description, Cornish tin miners had been unhappy with King Henry VII after he'd attempted to introduce new legislation regarding tin mining into the Cornish Stannery Parliament in 1496. And then, when he'd been met with opposition, had suspended the Stannery Court, meaning that the tin miners lost the privileges that the Stannaries had offered them since the early 1300s and were no longer exempt from civil jurisdiction or from paying taxes. This was then followed by heavy taxation to fund the King's Scottish campaign. It was all too much for the Cornish people and it led to the Cornish Rebellion of 1497. Fortunately for King Henry VII, and unfortunately for the rebels, the rebellion was brought to an end on the 17th of June 1497 at the Battle of Blackheath, or the Battle of Deptford, when the rebels were defeated by the Crown's forces and 1,500 of them were taken prisoner. The Chronicles of London record that Flamanc and Joseph were arraigned for treason at Westminster on the 26th of June 1497 and on this day in history, the 27th of June 1497, drawn from the Tower of London through the city to Tyburn and there hanged until they were dead. They were then stricken down and headed and after quartered. Chronicler Edward Hall gives a slightly different account, stating that they suffered a full traitor's death i.e. being alive when they were taken down from the gallows to be disemboweled and quartered. Hall records that the king ordered Joseph and Flamanc to be hanged, drawn and quartered as traitors and their quarters to be pitched on stakes and set up in diverse places of Cornwall that their sore punishments and terrible executions for their traitorous attempts and foolish hardy enterprises might be a warning for other hereafter to abstain from committing like crime and offence. But after he was told that this might actually provoke the Cornish into more action, the king decided to have their body parts displayed in London to avoid more trouble when he needed to focus on Scotland. Baron Audley, who'd also been involved in the rebellion, was beheaded on Tower Hill the following day and his head displayed on London Bridge. On Blackheath Common, there is a memorial plaque in memory of Flamanc and Joseph, which was erected on the 21st of June 1997 by the London Cornish Association and the Cornish Gorseth. It reads in Cornish and English, in memory of Michael Joseph the Smith and Thomas Flamanc, leaders of the Cornish Rebellion who marched to London. They were defeated here and suffered execution at Tyburn the 27th of June 1497. They shall have a name perpetual and fame permanent and immortal. And here we are, over 500 years later, still remembering these men. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 27th of June 1505, the 13-year-old Henry, Prince of Wales, future King Henry VIII, broke up with his betrothed, Catherine of Aragon. It was the eve of their wedding too. And you can find out why he did this and what happened in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.